This video is sponsored by Radiocode. There's a link in the description for more. I just got some Radiocode stuff sponsored to me in the mail, so... And, you know, it just arrived, so... I'm gonna go unbox this pretty quick uh, to see what we got, you know? And we got this little Radiocode rubber case thingy here, so let's open it up, right? Let's see what we got. I like it says Radiocode here. That's pretty cool. Now, you can see here we got... So, for your keychain... You know, you can put it in there, and it's got a little thing in there, which is pretty awesome. It, uh, it's actually pretty nice material. I like it. Now we have the... Oh, look at that. That's pretty sick. Now we have... um. Oh, it even got a little symbol here. That's cool. And on the bottom. So, let's take this out and see what we got. It feels heavy. It's a good weight. So, I want to take a more look at this. Ooh, let's see here. Yep, here we go. Ooh, that feels sturdy. You know, that feels... Feels nice. So, here you have... Uh, I'm gonna think this is the... Ah, yes, this is the thing that holds the radio code. That's nice. And this, here, here you go, here you go. It feels pretty good. And it can be pretty long. Let's see here. That's all the way down to the ground, so that's... And then I'm guessing, yeah, you screw this on here. You screw it on like that. Oop. There you go, silly me. Do that. That's what you do. And you scroll that guy onto it. And then you screw it to the sides, and then you can do this. So that's pretty cool. We got this little stickers here. That's pretty cute. I love cesium. Let's see here. Ooh, yeah, we got some uh, Zesium, some uh, Radium-226, a lot of isotopes. Cobalt-60, Strontium-90. I really like that. I really like that. On to the main part here, the main part. So here we have it. So let's just try this out. So we uh, open it like that. Out the sides. And wow, look at that. Radio code 110. So let's try and get it out real quick, carefully. That's the packaging. So I just opened it right now. So let's, uh, it kind of slides out. Let's see what we got. Got some card here for uh, instructions, short instructions and some warranty. Information. Wow, look at that. Look at that, man. Let's take a look at that compared to my Radio Code 103. Slightly bigger. You get a cool cable here. Nice. I'm going to put that back so we can take a look at the real thing here. Wow, it's so thick. Look at it. Look at that. See that? It's a little bit bigger. That's pretty cool. Let's try to turn it on and see what happens. Ooh, the button feels different. Yeah, compared to this one. Interesting. I like this one more, actually. You can see here. Let's switch it to CPS so we can compare them. Almost a thousand CPM. Wow. And that is because the crystal on this thing, so let's try this one here. See the difference? Now that's because the crystal, the crystal in this one is way bigger than this one. So this one is way more sensitive. Let's try that. Look at that, man. Way more sensitive. Now, of course, let's try the dose rate here. The dose may vary between device, and that's just purely because of, most likely, uh, the geometry 
on the crystal side. So, you know, on the crystals, there's a different, it, it's different, you know, so it may vary a little bit because this one detects more gamma radiation than this one does because this detector is smaller than the detector on this one. So it may vary a little bit, so you can't always get perfect. So let's try this here, see how it looks. I think we just put it on like this and you tighten it. You must tighten it very much so it's safe. There you go. And now it won't move. We have a little radiation source down here, so let's see if it, uh, it works. It's detecting it all the way over here. So the way it works. Instead of me sitting there playing with it in my house, let's go outside to find some real radiation. This granite rock is pretty radioactive due to the uranium and radium contents inside the rock. Here's what the 103 looks like in comparison to the 110. As we can see, the 110 is way more sensitive than the 103. Let's try finding some real radioactive rocks in the wild. Beautiful weather out here. And we have the Ryakuru. We have some nice rocks right now. It says 400 and... 37 CPM, so let's try this. It's kind of hot. I can hear it clicking. It's gonna update soon. Watch this. There you go. There's some rocks here. It's already clicking. 800, 1000 already over here. See that? 1000 at this distance. It's pretty nice. Let me see if we can find one. Here I have a little radiation source. It's a little bit strong in order to test the radio codes capabilities on dose rates and count rates. So let's take a peek at when they max out and what they can endure. So I open this up here. Well, let's turn on these first. Now, let's see. Let's try count rate. Very nice. Very nice. 
Let's try the 103. The 103 count rate. Not as high as the other one. So, let's grab the little source here. Let's take the count rate here. Now let's do test the capabilities of the radio codes. We will start with the radio code 103. This is the count rate. Not bad. 1.8 million counts per minute. This is dose rate. Not bad. It maxes out at 1 millisievert per hour. Now, on to this thing. It's not even close. Let's put it on it. Three million counts per minute. That's cool. Let's try dose rate. So it maxes out at 400 microsieverts per hour. Not bad. Here's some gamma spectroscopy pieces here and they are on shielded radium that's in equilibrium so about one centimeter of lead and you can see the big bismuth 214 peaks that are not being shielded as much as the lower gamma energies so you can see on the lower without the shielding there will be a lot more uh, lower energy gamma peaks. Here you can see this is unshielded radium that is in equilibrium. So you can see the lower energy gammas are able to make it to the detector instead of the shielding. So it's much more prominent on the lower energy ranges. A big thank you to Radio Code for sponsoring me this device and giving me some awesome opportunities to explore.